Hello children, in this video we will learn about the pie chart. Chanda and Apu want to start a pickle making business together. Chanda, I think we should first find out which pickles people like. Yes Apu, let's find out by asking the villagers. I will write down the names of some pickles on a paper. Then we will write the number of people who like that pickle in this table. Chanda and Apu go to people's homes to find out which pickle people like. By the end of the day, they completed their table by asking a hundred people their choice. They returned to Chanda's house. Apu, I am tired of wandering around the village all day long and now I don't understand anything after seeing so many numbers. Is there any way that we can understand all this information at one glance? Yes Chanda, we can illustrate this information using a pie chart. Hey Apu, I am already feeling very hungry. And now you're increasing my appetite by taking the name of this pie chart. What is this pie chart? <laughs> Through the pie chart, we can illustrate the information in a simple way by making a circle. Let me teach you how to make it. See, we have got information of a hundred people in total. To make a pie chart, we will first write the number of people who like pickle as a fraction of 100. Like 50 people like mango pickle. So we take the number of people who like mango pickle as 50 or half part of 100. In the same way we will write different pickles liked by people as fractions of 100. But the total number of parts in all these fractions is different. Then how do we represent them? That's correct. To solve this, we will first find the lowest common multiple or the smallest common multiple of the total parts of all these fractions. In this way, 20 is the lowest common multiple of these numbers. Now, we will write all these fractions in such a way that the total parts of all of these fractions is 20. But Apu, you haven't made any pie till now. Don't worry. Now we are going to make the pie of the pie chart. Now, we will make such a circle. Then, we will divide this circle into 20 equal parts and finally we will color these parts of the pie chart as per the fractions and illustrate it using the circle. Our pie chart is ready. Wow Apu, now we can easily find out by looking at these parts that people like mango pickle the most because the largest part of the pie chart shows the number of people who like mango and this smallest part shows the people who like pepper pickle. So people who like pepper pickle are of the least number and look Apu, similar number of people like amla and carrot pickle that means those who like these pickles are same in number. That's right. We have to start selling mango pickle first. Let us eat something now. I'm very hungry too. Appu and Chanda now went to eat chapatis. Children, in this video we learned about the pie chart. In the next video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples.
Hello children. In the last video, we learned about the pie chart. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Raju, Mrs. Khan has told me that all the children have to wear the same color shirt for the school's annual festival. She has asked me to find out which color is most liked by the children. Come, I will help you. We will ask all the children to choose the color that they like. Then we will make a chart of this information and we will know which color is most liked by the children. Raju and Bablu asked 48 children about their color choice and made such a pie chart. Look Raju, after seeing this pie chart, it seems that the largest number of children like yellow. This is one third of this pie chart. But how do we know how many children like this color? Look Bablu, we have created this pie chart with the information from 48 children. And one third of these children have liked yellow. So the number of children who like yellow will be 48 multiplied by one third or 48 divided by 3 that is 16 children a total of 16 children like yellow oh wow raju this is so easy and look these parts show that the number of children who like the color green and pink are very similar it means that the same number of kids have liked pink and green let me immediately find how many children have liked the colors green and pink. This part is one sixth of the pie chart. This means green and pink color is 48 multiplied by one sixth or 48 divided by six. That is eight children. That means eight children like green and eight like pink. Bablu, the share of children who like red is also quite large, but it is a little smaller than the share of children who like yellow. Let's find out the number of children who like red more than yellow. The number of children who like red will be 48 times 1 fourth or 48 divided by 4, which is 12 children. Yellow color is liked by 16 children. This means that the number of children who like red is 4 less than the number of children who like yellow. And Raju, I like blue color a lot. But in this pie chart, the share of children who like blue is the smallest. Let me find out how many children like blue like me. The number of children who like blue is 48 times 1 by 12 or 48 divided by 12 that is 4 out of whom I am 1 <laughs> Bablu, uh, let's quickly tell Mrs. Khan that most of the children like yellow color Raju and Bablu conveyed this to Mrs. Khan and then all the children celebrated the annual festival with great enthusiasm by wearing yellow shirts. Children, in this video, we learned more about the pie chart by some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. Children, in the previous video, we learnt more about the pie chart by some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. With the wedding season in Champapur, Chanda is getting lot of orders to decorate the wedding pavilion with flowers. Chanda is wondering which of her flowers people like the most. To find out, Chanda created a pie chart by looking at the record of flowers used in previous orders. Just then, 
अप्पू केम टू चंदाज शॉप चंदा वॉट इज दिस पाय चार्ट यू मेड दिस शूज द पॉप्युलरिटी ऑफ माई फ्लावर्स आई हैव मेड दिस पाय चार्ट फ्रॉम द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट हाउ मेनी फ्लावर्स आई हैव यूज द वेरियस ऑर्डर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस द लार्जेस्ट पार्ट इज द चंपा फ्लावर्स इट मीन्स चंपा फ्लावर्स आर द मोस्ट पॉप्युलर फ्लावर्स See I have also learned to make pie charts Oh wow Chanda you have made a very beautiful pie chart but what's this Champa flowers have been used in one fourth orders and rose flowers have been used in one third orders and one fourth is smaller than one third but in your pie chart One fourth part of the champa flowers appear larger than one third part of the rose flowers. How can this be possible? Oh yes, Apu. When I made this pie chart, I counted properly, and I had counted each flower and then coloured in the parts of the pie. Then, how did this happen? Okay, now I understand. Look, Chanda. Even though you have colored the parts of the pie chart according to the fractions of these flowers, but when you made the parts of the pie chart, you have created unequal parts instead of the equal parts. So, one third of your pie chart seems smaller than the quarter of your pie chart. Oops. <laughs> I so I made this mistake. Uh, I it means that rose is the most popular flower and not champa. Let me rectify my mistake and make this pie chart properly. By saying this, Chanda divided the pie chart into equal parts and made it without any mistake. Thank you, Appu. Now I will never repeat this mistake. For this help Allow me to buy an ice cream for you from Babbun's ice cream stall. Both Chanda and Appu went to eat ice cream. Children, in this video we saw some common mistakes related to the pie chart. Hello children in the previous video we learned about bar charts in this video we will learn more about it through